thank you to everybody for joining us here today to witness and celebrate with Spencer and Kat as they proclaim their love and commitment to one another. This is a joyous occasion and we are here to celebrate with and for them and the start of their new life as husband and wife. Kat, I can't wait to see you in a few short hours. Here's a little basket of goodies while you get ready today. I love you so much and I can't wait to marry you. You are my best friend and the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Love, Spencer. Thank God he wants to spend my life Spencer is my type A, sweet, caring, driven lover. Absolutely. He likes things to be a certain way. He's organized. He's meticulous. And it's all because he wants everyone else to be comfortable and in love. And love what they're doing or what's going, whatever's going on, he wants everyone else to feel good. He's one of the most selfless people I've ever met. She's a... Uh... A joy to be around. Um, you know, she's my best friend. Um, she's an amazing cook. That is a, a very big bonus. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just her glowing personality. She's incredibly passionate um, with her children and helping others. Um, makes me want to be a better person and is truly just you know my best friend. Um, the person I want to share all my life with. Spencer and Kat, you may have fallen in love by chance, but you are here today because you've made a choice. You chose each other. You've chosen to enhance each other's lives. You've chosen someone who challenges you, someone that makes you smile. You've chosen a partner that appreciates your strengths and accepts your weaknesses. Today you will make promises to each other that you will keep for the rest of your lives. This was my first year teaching and I was still living with my college girlfriends and it was like the day after taxes and he worked in the stock market and it was like a big celebration for him to go out that night and have fun with his friends. We met at a bar uh, called Whiskey Row in, in Tempe which I think it was probably like my first time ever there so it, it, I felt pretty lucky. And he never goes to Tempe, he, lives, he lived in Scottsdale at the time with some bros and he went to Tebby that night. I lived on Mill. And, and on the dance floor at Whiskey Row, Spencer and I met. And we danced, and I was sweaty, and I was drinking with my girlfriends. <laughs> and he didn't, miss, he didn't miss a beat. I do remember asking a friend of mine if he wouldn't mind holding my beer, and I was going to ask Kat to dance. So. Uh, we ended up dancing and talking for the whole rest of the night. And then he walks me home because he is a gentleman. But then I'm a teacher and I got sick. I got strep throat the next week so I couldn't go on a date with him. But we did eventually get that first date and, and it was incredible and you know led to what we're here for today. What don't I love about Spencer? He is an angel from above. He's one of the most hardworking guys. Well, I'm getting teary I'd say this. He is one of the most hardworking people I've ever met. And I'm thankful for him. He loves me no matter what, 100%. I know this is gonna work. I know our marriage is gonna be everything and then some because of his determination.
marriage is not about putting on a beautiful dress. That's a pretty nice one. <clears throat> or a nice suit. Marriage isn't about having a big party with friends and family. Marriage certainly isn't about partying until the wee hours of the morning, but there'll probably be a little bit of that later. No, all of these things are just part of what a wedding ceremony is all about. Marriage is about learning to live together as one, not as a couple with two separate lives, but living your lives together as one complete self. Which, by the way, is uh, Reverend J. advice to us all. Uh, pray, pray a little, cry a little. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this real? <laughs> Thought you might need that. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> So happy this day is finally here. Meeting you on that crowded dance floor two and a half years ago is the best thing that has ever happened to me. You are the most beautiful, smart, and caring person I have ever known. You never fail to make me laugh and always know how to comfort me when I am down. Spencer James Beersdorf, I'm beyond thankful for you. You are the best teammate I could ask for. You are selfless, hardworking, smart, and caring. You're the love of my life. Today, I commit myself to you. I promise to be yours and only yours. I give myself to you and vow to be emotionally and physically faithful to our never-ending love. I vow to be your faithful husband, to always respect, honor, and cherish you. I vow to always keep working on us and to never take our relationship for granted. I promise to always pursue you, to fight for you, and to love you unconditionally. I promise to grow with you, to support all of your goals and ambitions, and be your partner in life. I promise to be your number one fan. I will dream with you, encourage you, and never stop cheering you on. I vow to be patient, humble, and loving as we begin the next part of our journey together. You are truly my best friend, and marrying you fulfills all my dreams. I vow to always be there for you, to laugh with you in the good times, and to comfort you in times of distress. I promise to put you first before all others, and always make our family's love and happiness a priority. You are my best friend, you are my better half, and I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I will always work to keep our love as strong as it is today. I love you, Spencer. I can't wait to celebrate and dance with you just like the first night we met. <laughs> you have stated your intent before God and your family and friends. You have declared your commitment to one another. You have exchanged your wedding rings as symbols of your eternal love. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as the officiant of this beautiful ceremony, there is only one thing left for me to do. Spencer and Kat, by the power vested in me by the great state of Arizona <laughs> and the American Marriage Ministries, I now pronounce that you are officially husband and wife. Spencer, have at her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you all for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Spencer and Kathleen Beersdorf. Congratulations, guys.
is by all definitions a steadfast friend and truly one of the best people I have had the honor of knowing. For these reasons and so many more, I knew the one would have to be as equally wonderful. And in enters Spencer. Spencer, I love the way you love Kat, and I feel so privileged to have watched this relationship unfold. When I first met Spencer, I was so eager to teach him. But somewhere along the way, he began teaching me what it meant to be a great man and a best friend. I've learned a lot about the Beersdorf. They're a solid uh, family. They're just lovely, lovely people. I just look forward to our families joining together. It means a lot to me. Kat and I, for as long as I can remember, we have acted as sisters. So although I'm a little jealous that Kat has a new sleepover buddy, I couldn't have imagined a better partner for my best friend. Kat and Spencer, I'm so excited for the two of you and the love that you share. The best part of their love story is yet to come. Kat and Spencer are an incredible couple. I just am so confident that you're going to sail through life. Love can mean many things. For some, it's that butterfly in your stomach feeling. For others, it's caring for someone more than you've ever cared for yourself. But let me say this, love is not a chore. Love is not a responsibility. Love is a privilege and a gift not everyone finds. So try your best to slow down in time. Soak in the boring moments. Live up the exciting ones. And always, always conquer the tough times together. Let's have a toast to Kat and Spencer, the most beautiful and most happy couple.